Action. This We're is it. Live. This is nope. Big Tom. Nobody here yet. All that anticipation and nobody showed up. <laughs> it says zero. Still? Yep. Pressure. I wonder if I should turn the flat top on. It says zero. Is it public? I'm afraid. Yep, one person. Who's the first one? I don't know. Who's the first one? <laughs> Two people. Let's go. Let's get it going. Five. Three o'clock sharp. It's like in the military. If you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. Been here all day waiting on you guys. <laughs> one thumbs up. <laughs> Is our voice better? Yeah. Were you here last time? Can you guys hear me good? I'm not seeing any comments. Come oh, yes. I'm here. Hi, guys. Hey Steve, hey Charlie, 23 people. There we go, let's keep it going. <laughs> oh, we'll just hey. wait a minute. Oh, this person, hi from Canada. Holy. Hi. Hey, hi, Canada, Nick. Canada Day is just right around the corner. Hey. Hey, there's Tommy. Tommy. Tommy from Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Boy, he had a banging burger this morning. Man, he had that pork belly from a stick and then fried it all up and put it on like a burger. Good job, Tommy. <laughs> Janet, Robert, Andrew, hi from Iowa. You sound great, Amy. Thank you, Charlie. We we tested out. We bought a couple different microphones and we tested them out for you guys. We put the microwave and or the microwave. We put the microphone fund to use. We did. Hi, yep. Kelly. <laughs> hi, Brian from Minnesota. Hi from Florida, Chris. <laughs> Chris from Florida. Yep. Hey, Bob. Bob's here with us. We can ask Bob questions if we have questions. <laughs> Bob's my security. He's like personal security. Bob he knows more than we do. That's true. <laughs> oh, joining from Denmark. Wow. wow. Hi from Denmark. Hi from Buford, Oklahoma. First of July, Canada Day. Hi, guys. Houston, Texas. Bill from Chicago. Woo. Wow. Okay, so we have 102 people with us so far. Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, Matt. Hi, Mark from Texas. Okay, can you guys hear both of us well? I hope so, because I haven't said anything. <laughs> I think it's going to be fine. What do you think? Are we good so far? I think oh, we're going to be good. Connecticut, kiss me. Yes. Stephanie says yes. Traverse City, yes. Sound is great. Good. Okay, good. good. We chose the correct microphone. Neil said, we had one that I that we had bought, and Neil said I looked like like a crazy alien because I had like cords coming all off of me. <laughs> I had a cord here, up my arm, down my sleeve, in my shirt. She had earphones on, then a cord from here to her, or like her arm like she was in football calling a play. And then she had it tucked in her shirt and she's walking around like, mic check, mic check. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Absolutely not. You look like an alien with like liposuction. Matt says, all I hear is Amy. You guys know I have a loud voice. <laughs> well, tone it down some, honey. Don't yell. They're just right there. Talk, okay. talk to me, not to them. All right. So we have 111 people. All right. Okay. You ready? So the Hi, idea Birmingham. is the Juicy Lucy. If you're familiar with it, then you know what it is. If you're not, it's basically just the idea of two thin patties stuffed with cheese. We're going to season both sides, cook it all together. The traditional is more of a caramelized onion with some pickles and yellow mustard. I've teased everybody. I said, I can't do anything without doing my own twist. This is my twist, okay? We got boars and cheese that we're gonna stuff the burger with. If you guys are part of the join program, we kind of teased it to them and said, this is what we've been testing, right? So I had crispy jalapenos and crispy onions, right? Just for a little crunch, just to change it up. We had it and we both looked at each other and said, it's missing. What is it missing? That's a big question. Hey, thank you, Tommy. <laughs> the red pepper jelly. Basically, jalapeno jelly. It's spicy. It's sweet. I think it's going to complement the, the Borgian style cream cheese. I think we got a home run. What Tommy do? He, he sent us a little tip. <laughs> Tommy. All right, here we go. Okay. Ah! So I want to know who is who is actually like cooking along with us. Oh yeah. Right now, are you guys actually cooking along with us? Or are you just here to watch Neil? Tommy's probably knee deep in his pool with his cool glasses that he just got the other day, just living the dream. That's what Tommy does. 
If anybody wants to know what it's like to live the dream, just look him up at Tommy at the Backyard Gallery Barbecue. Eric says, I'm at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> so is everybody else at this time. Yep. Uh, what? Rusty Bike Adventure says he's seasoning his Blackstone. Terry is drinking beer. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Oh, so Tommy's getting ready to go see Top Gun. We want to see that. We just watched the old one a couple days ago just to get familiar with it. <laughs> Charlie says I'm on the couch. It's, you know. It's where you should be. Yeah. <laughs> Hello from Connecticut. <laughs> Wow, I see a lot of familiar faces on here, guys. Jay Booth, Matt, Steve. Okay, so right. I guess I should probably actually show them what you're doing, huh? Just got an onion. You can cut it whatever way you want to. Nobody cares. There's Jeff. Hey, Jeff. They know that we don't speed up your knife skills <laughs> when you edit the video. No, basically when you caramelize onions, you're just going to julienne them, slice them thin as you possibly can for your comfort. Some people have, you know, struggles and I can understand that. But obviously the thinner, the better. And uh, it's just a great topping. That char is something that you can't get traditionally. I've always said you take regular store-bought ingredients and you can up the flavor. And how do you up the flavor? cooking technique so that's one of them everyone's saying wash your fingers <laughs> hey there's my parents say give them a shout out honey i just want them to know i'm working <laughs> <laughs> they think i don't work with two full-time jobs this is technically working all right <laughs> he's giving my parents a hard time guys we just saw they're on here too We're going to get our onions started. <laughs> Howard says, I was told there would be refreshments and samples. <laughs> hey, if we could have you guys all on the back deck, we would. We really would. <laughs> we are expanding the back deck. I just like to mix the flavors, keep the flavors consistent. I'm actually a big fan of the seasoning. Uh, if you guys know me, I love my Cavender seasoning. It's a whole different flavor profile, but for a good all-purpose seasoning, um, add as many as I have, this one right here stands out. So, I like it. All right, that so, is the Pit Boss Bold Burger Rub. All right, so really quick, let's get started on this idea, right? So while the onions are cooking, I'm going to show you guys the idea of the Juicy Lucy. So we're going to take about the same, a little bit larger than a golf ball. I'm going to aim for three to four ounces, right? You're going to smash it thin. Take another piece of parchment paper, smash it thin, so you have two patties. We actually prefer really good American cheese. I do not like the cheese and the plastic wrap. I like it all separate. We're going to load it load it good and then season it up and grill it. Man, it kind of steams, but it keeps the cheese inside. So let me show you really quick. Somebody gave me this cool little tip. Thank you, guys. I don't know who yes, it was. Yes, Will, we did. We did receive your wristbands, and we love them. And we are actually we were going to mention that on a future video, we on the next video. Tell them, we actually did mention it. And if you followed us, you knew that we had a video that never made it public because I accidentally deleted the stupid thing. <laughs> yes. And then I deleted the trash not knowing it was in there. And the shout out to you was in there, so I really appreciate it. Yes, but we, we are going to mention that also in another another video. Yes, Jeff, I think it was Jeff said that today is his 57th birthday Ooh. and that this is the best present ever. <laughs> Jay says congrats on hitting the 35,000 subscribers. Thanks. Hey, that's thanks to <laughs> that you guys. That was exciting. You know what, though? Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Hey, do you guys feel like I'm yelling? <laughs> I do. Can, can I please get a word in? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Somebody gave us a tip. When you do your parchment paper, right? A lot of times the wind will blow or it's just easy to fall off. And this is true. Crumble it up and start over. I don't know why it works, but it just works. All right, here we go. Now you can continue your, your banter. I'm working. <laughs> well, you interrupted me and now I don't I know I interrupted you? <laughs> now you know how I feel when I'm filming. 
Because you tell me I misspoke hey, a word. Hey, this is a live lover's quarrel right here. <laughs> you guys should see what really goes on behind, on the deck. I've never felt dumber in my life, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. I told you it works yeah. as it blows everywhere. All right. Put your knife on it. Tommy says put a weight on it. So this is the deal. Just a little bit, like I said, three to four ounces. Since I've already got a piece of paper. Richard, we have not checked on that spatula set. We'll have to look at that. Which one? Uh, like Home Star, I think you said. The comment already went off the screen. We'll have to look. So basically I'm just producing it just like a smash burger, right? Look how much circumference area we've got to fill it up with cheese. The thinner, you don't want it paper thin where you can see holes in it because obviously the cheese will leak. The cheese will leak. I think I said that right. Yeah. But you do want it thin enough where you get bang for your buck, right? You don't want to just put one little cheese cube in there. Um, DS the gloves because, why, he says, why the gloves? We usually don't wear gloves, but we didn't want to take time to run into the kitchen while we're live to wash our hands. That's so very true. He's using the gloves today. Yeah, somebody got on to me for using gloves, and I laughed because I was like, they said, you're feeding, you're touching your face and then feeding your family. I'm like, well, I am married to her. Unfortunately, we do kiss. <laughs> I know it's like a third world thing to think about, but. Saying hi from Safe Harbor Boys Home. Oh, shout out. Holy smokes. Shout out to all you boys at Safe Harbor. Love you guys. Be good. That's right. Listen to mom. Maybe not deep, but listen to mom. <laughs> so what we got going on, honey? So this is the the first, the original one we're doing first? Yeah. Yes, Eric, I know. 215 people are on now live with us. <laughs> I can handle that. Yep. I thought we could hit three to four hundred. That was my goal. I, I don't know if we'll ever hit it, but it seemed like there was a lot of momentum, a lot of build up. Okay, someone says, what is that black cutting board? So we we have looked for a link for you guys um, for this black cutting board because we get so many questions um, about this. I believe it's from a company called The Cutting Board Company, actually. So... Uh, you cannot buy it on Amazon, but you can buy it directly on their website. So it's the cutting board company. We're actually going to upgrade it. We're actually going to get a bigger one. Yep. Tommy says, I love black cutting boards. Yep. <laughs> Hi from, what was that? Michigan? I'm not good with my state abbreviations. <laughs> Kaylee, what is MI? Michigan? Us kids, yes. <laughs> yes. MN's Minnesota. <laughs> We are, hey, for the people that ask, I don't know if anybody's on here that's ever asked. I get asked all the time about my shirt. That's why I actually wore it today. Where'd you get your shirt? And the funny thing is, we got it from a department store when it was on clearance for two bucks. And when I was 60 pounds heavier, it fit. And when I'm 60 pounds lighter, it still fits. It's been one of my greatest shirts. But that's not why you guys care. But we're going to create a, um, our version of the shirt. We'll have it available pretty soon. So here we go. All right. So someone asked one. what kind of ground beef? We're uh, using 80, 80, 20. 80, 20. So here's what we got. Hi from Katy, Texas. They are making breakfast on their camp chef right now. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Jonathan says, thank you for your service. Great videos. Thank you, Jonathan. Jeff says, roll tide. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't know, Jeff. We, can't, we might not be able to be friends anymore. <laughs> I'd say Roll Tide, too, if I was him. What else has he got to say? National Championship, SEC Championship, National Championship. Tim says, how do we keep the TV on the wall um, from, like, not breaking or, or getting water damage? So I have to give my I have to give a shout-out to my dad who's watching. Did you see this at all? Oh. Am I doing this for nothing? I have to give a shout-out to my dad who's watching. He helped us build this entire deck and made it so that our TV does not get wet. Shout out for your husband for using a pool noodle. Yep. <laughs> right. So here we go. So 
All right, so I took the American cheese and all I did was leave an edge around there, right? And I'm just gonna take another piece of meat and just set it right on top. And then you're just gonna form it. So I'm gonna show you this one, then I'm gonna show you the uh, boars and cheese one. And then, so that way we don't bore you with the boars and cheese. So basically what you're doing, you're just trying to create a seal, right? It's important to create the seal. Some people say pinch. Simple, some people say just fold it over. I think it's a combination of both. Um, we were pretty successful on our first attempt. So, and just like that. And then you just wanna come back in here really good. Just like that. See, no cheese is, no cheese is showing or anything like that. So there's our cheese version right there. Okay. That's the original. Yep. I'm going to go through 100 gloves. All right, so then the uh, the Borgian cheese is like this. Uh, can you have me a knife? Yep. Hello. Hello, Sean from Richmond, Indiana. Thank you very much. He says, love the videos. I feel like I haven't even looked at my people out there yet. <laughs> I know. I got to be honest, guys. I was a little nervous. <laughs> Last time, we thought we filled it too much. But honestly, I think with the addition of the um, of the boars and cheese, I mean, I think the addition of the pepper jelly, I think is going to set it over the top. So I'm not worried about adding too much boars and cheese. We got our onions going. They're just moved over to the side to start the cooking process. Just basically leaving them alone. I hate those dang gloves. Hi, Jason. Hi, Kelly. Kelly. Thanks, guys. This is a different Kelly. This is oh. Kelly Smith. She says, you guys are so fun. <laughs> tell her that. <laughs> they people, people tell us all the time they like our banter, and I say that's, that's about 20 years of banter practice. So Neil and I have been together for 20 years, married for 16 blissful just, just it's i mean been over 20 years actually we've been been together married we've been together for over 20 years yeah yep yeah yeah kelly says i'm here too yep we know you're we know you're here too kelly hey kelly since since i'm putting you on a blast in front of everybody how's those homemade biscuits going <laughs> what was she making homemade biscuits she was supposed to uh oh don't let her lie to you <laughs> okay we're making more now, huh? Well, we got to make the girls. Yep. So we're just going to... Lisa says, going to try your Hawaiian recipe next on their Blackstone. It was really good. It but was really good. As good as it was, I mean, when I say like one out of 10, like nine and a half, if I had to do it over, which I, I don't see me making it over anytime Kelly soon. Kelly says, waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> she was tagged first. Tag, that, that don't mean you can just reciprocate. Is that the word? Reciprocate. The tag without tagging somebody. You were tagged first. Oh, he says you forgot the gloves, LOL. No, I just got tired of using them. I get my dang he'll, way. He'll run in and wash his hands. Maybe. What size is the cutting board? I think that it is like 24 inches by 18 inches, possibly. Um, oh, that's a good idea, Janet. She says she wants to try her burger with feta inside. Absolutely. You put a little red onion in there, whatever. Hey, um... For the person that mentioned, uh, what was I talking about? Oh no, you sweating, honey. It is 80 to 90 degrees outside today. No, somebody just said something that made me think. Hey, thank you, Richard. <laughs> is it plastic? Oh, Tommy says, is our cutting board plastic? So no, it is actually like a paper composite material. Oddly, I know. Yes. I'm not the person that buys that stuff, but I mean, it works out phenomenal. It, it is really good. I think yeah. it was less than 50 bucks, honestly. So we tried it out and we said for 50 bucks, it might be worth it. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. He says, you guys are so funny. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she, takes, hey, hey. she takes all the credit. Trust me. <laughs> oh yeah. Anthony, blue cheese would be a good idea. We're using boars in today. If you missed that, we've got one classic version with the American cheese and we have one uh, Borzen. 
Uh, Tommy, no, it does not make marks when we cut on it. We've had it a long time, and you can see there's a. Um, it probably no does, marks. but it's almost like it self buffs out. Kent, Kent says, when is your wife going to try to make dinner? <laughs> uh, come here, Kent. <laughs> Pull me off two pieces of cheese. <laughs> somebody, somebody just like, my hands are shaking. Whew, I need some water. Someone said, um, as President Biden, this stream should be taxed. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, one more piece of cheese. You know, some people hey, put it give, on there like hey, that. give Don a shout out. He turns 70 tomorrow. Holy smokes, Don. That's special right there, buddy. Kelly Happy birthday, she's Don. she's using Bisquick. For a homemade biscuits? For, for your homemade biscuits? Tommy says he's buying a cutting board now. <laughs> Yes, Jeff, we have 286 with us now. 286 people. I'll take it. Is Bobby out there? I haven't heard Bobby's name mentioned. Uh, Bobby, are you out there? <laughs> yes, Dave says we should put my bacon dust <laughs> with that cheese inside the burgers. Kelly says yes, she's going to use Bisquick. Shout out to the Navy cooks. Y'all make the best chow. That's from Floyd. <laughs> yes, for those of you that, that don't know, Neil was a cook in the Navy for four years. And for the people that don't know, I'm sure they would never know. We had a creed in the Navy about the cooks. We may not be the elite of the fleet, but without us, the fleet won't eat. A lot <laughs> of people, a lot of people took that to heart. So Neil... Um, was you had a kitchen staff of what like 30 people yeah so we're on a big ship Neil Neil was in charge of a kitchen staff of about 30 people and they fed 3,000 sailors and Marines three meals a day every single day for nine months straight dear Lord it was nine months straight so that's a lot of practice <laughs> That's a lot of grumpy people. Matt says these would cook much faster in the microwave. Matt, I would probably mess that up. <laughs> oh, someone says Air Force cooks make the best chow. Sorry. <laughs> hey, yeah, actually, you know what? We went to Air Force uh, Base uh, in culinary school uh, right out of uh, boot camp in uh, Lackland Air Force Base. And, believe it or not, we all cook from the same... Um, AFRS, Armed Forces Service Recipe Card, or something like that. I can't remember the terminology. <laughs> lots, someone says lots of hot bunking. <laughs> oh, geez. No, no. no we know submarine people. <laughs> they were on a big ship. Yeah, we had our own. We, were, uh, we had our own little bed. <laughs> Where are you going, honey? You can't leave me hanging. I got to wash my hands. <laughs> oh, he's washing his hands, you guys. I, I won't take you in our house because I did not have time to clean it. <laughs> it's not really very clean. There's a little sneak peek. <laughs> Jason says long-winded. Yes, I know. I replied to his comment. That was very long-winded. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. He says thank you for your service. Tommy says don't panic to me because you're leaving me hanging, honey. <laughs> Kelly says I get motion sickness. They'd all starve. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jay, I think I am going to try cooking um, smash burgers next. I've never cooked a burger in my life. Jay said, what am I cooking next? I think, I think we're going to, maybe, this is the idea. Maybe once a month, maybe, once a month, we get her on the griddle, and she cooks classics. For example... Um, uh, here, show them the caramelized onions. See how we're getting the color right here? I just moved them off the heat. Just keep them in that cold spot and just let them do their thing right there. Right? This is, here, since we have, how many people we got on there? Let me, Three, what? 304. What kind of onions? Valdalia, sweet, uh, southern style onions. Um, let me hit this point right here because it's been brought up so many times about what oil to use in seasoning. I believe in uh, one method. You season three different ways. When you preheat, during the cook, and after the cook. So before, middle, and after, right? 
as you notice, look how much surface area I have. See how dry that is? This is a perfect time right now while you're cooking something off to the side to allow it to build up heat. To go and throw an oil down, I use avocado oil a lot, right? Just put a thin coat of avocado oil down and just spread it in your spots that need to be seasoned, right? Spread it all over evenly. When you're cooking, if you're sauteing a bunch of vegetables, imagine my whole griddle full of vegetables and I'm using avocado oil. You're seasoning your grill as you're cooking. And lastly, when you're done, once you clean everything off and you got it uh, clean the way you like it, you add a little bit of oil. Some people let it burn off. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depending on what I've made, especially if you're doing hibachi that's got a lot of sugars. I'll let that oil burn off again. But then you'll just put oil down on it while it's hot and it just keeps that repetitive process. So um, a lot of surface area, a little bit of cooking. Take advantage of it. This is why I believe that you shouldn't season with certain oils or cook with certain oils all the time because as long as your flat top keeps building heat and it starts smoking, some oils aren't great for seasoning. And you kind of get lost in that translation. We're going to do a video about it later, but basically like olive oil and butter, you can cook with them, but they are not great oils to continuously put on your flat top without putting a good oil on there to season with. There's a difference. All right. <laughs> Richard says it's killing me to spend $16 for cooking oil. <laughs> think, think about how much you would spend at a restaurant, though. <laughs> I, you might be able to find it a little bit cheaper. I think the what avocado oil yeah. that we use, you might be able to find on Amazon for like $8 to $9. A lot of stores actually, a lot of our stores will actually lately put it on sale. And, and... We're thinking about actually switching to tallow. I haven't done my research yet, but somebody that I really look up to recommended it. You know what this is, don't you? What? I absolutely have no idea which one's which. <laughs> That'll be a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so, Terry says salted or unsalted butter. We always buy unsalted, but when I use salted, in most dishes, I can't tell the difference. Baking might be a difference because it's all about the science, the amount of salt, leavening, and all that stuff. But traditionally cooking, I mean, you just, you taste your food as you go. I, some people have commented on our channel, thank you for tasting as you go. You know, and that's why I don't really believe in recipes because I could say add, let's come over here so it's louder or less quiet, whatever. That's why I don't believe a lot of times in recipes, I believe in ideas, right? What I think is salty, you might think is unsalty or too salty. Salted butter or unsalted butter can get you there in a hurry, depends on what you like. <laughs> and guys, I know there are a lot of comments coming in. We will try to um, go back through later and like answer your some of the other questions that we're not getting to hey we're, we are planning on this uh how fast it happens i don't know but this is one way that we can come straight from the horse's mouth we are planning a cooking school uh especially for beginners or people that just want to join and say hey let's do something but kind of like a more intimate private setting to where we can get maybe three or four people on board uh certain times of the of uh, the week month whatever and give like more one-on-one -on -one um, access or training or questions because it is very very rapid pace right now so that is something coming up very soon <laughs> yep texas hunter says some grilled onions and jalapenos would be good got you brother we're using we're that was the idea we've got one version that has boars and cheese in there <laughs> jason says neat idea with the cooking school <laughs> Is it good? That's one. Oh, geez. Don't give it to me. Uh -huh. oh. Yep. Maybe that'll hush her up. <laughs> That's spicy, honey. Mm -hmm. I need some water. No, you don't. <laughs> nope. Just less talking. Steve says, love the cooking school idea. Good. <laughs> I really think it's one of those things to where we can really elevate the game. We can go gourmet. We can go basic because since you guys are invested, you guys are going to basically relate to me or relay to me what you want me to do. Some people say, hey, I have problems with my griddle sticking. We can do a whole class on how to avoid sticking. 
some people say they want to elevate the flat top game to create sauces or um, um, you know any one of the five mother sauces or steak sauces or anything like that. We can do it all on the griddle, but it's really a more intimate situation where you can um, explain it a lot easier. Yep. So Jeff wants to know, and this is probably one of the hard things about cooking on a griddle. He says, how does he keep his camp chef from getting too hot? Um, like if he, like, his comment already went off the screen. But he said, I think he said that he had already tried turning one burner off. So, okay, so uh, you got a four burner system, typically, right? Don't be afraid. I, I, I like the idea of staggering the heat. So, for, for example, here I'll turn this one off. Or, I mean, uh, yeah, this one off and this one off. Right? Stagger the heat. The camp chef has a heat plate underneath it as a diffuser. So once that heats up, it allow it spreads that flame out evenly and they poke through the holes so you have a lot more consistent heat. I found on my Blackstone, I've got a lot of um, less heat. People complain about not having uh, their seasoned griddle all the way around. That goes back to our pros and cons, right? Sometimes you like it because for example, these caramelized onions are just sitting over here chilling. They're not aggressively cooking, but yet we can, this is still on low, but yet we can still sear a great uh, burger on the flat top, all on the same setting. So don't be scared to turn off more than one um, thing. Hey. Also too, um, don't uh, hit it with just a little douse of water. Not a lot, you're not trying to flood it, right? That's gonna warp it. Just try to like douse it with some water, scrape it, and that shock will help cool it down as well. Uh, congratulations to Kelly who just found out she's going to be a grandmother. Woo woo! <laughs> That's exciting. Right, I know, I know, we're getting her for her first birthday, or his first birthday. <laughs> a griddle. They got to have a uh, like a what's the Tykes toys. What's, oh, like Fisher Price? Yes, like Fisher little Price griddle girl. set. <laughs> okay, so what do, what do we have going on over here? We're just about ready to flip. I'm going to start toasting my buns. Jeff says that he will try to turn on two burners. He needs to create a cool zone. Thank you. Yeah, so just, Jeff, like he said, we, we found it easiest to stagger your burners. So, like, if you have a four burner. Yep. Like, do alternate the ones that you turn off. Just throw a little mayonnaise down. <laughs> Someone says, where's the flat top queen? I graduated. I'm not, <laughs> now I'm the flat top queen and not the microwave queen. <laughs> someone, uh, someone has to man the camera. Let me tell you something. Let's get her on the griddle more than one time first before we anoint her and take over my job. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone asked about where's all the wildlife backyard usually we have like a hawk killing a bird oh so she never wanted me to post another picture but we had a, a, a video the hawk killed a dove in our yard right between those two trees and was plucking the feathers out like crazy and she said that we couldn't put that on the cooking video <laughs> and then the other day you can ask my girls so i came out here i've never had it before everybody keeps talking about what about critters what about critters i'm like we don't really have critters on our deck my dog's not here right now so I came out the other day, dang, I had dang paw prints from a raccoon on my dang griddle. I just cleaned it off before the video so you guys didn't see how dirty it was. It was either a raccoon or a possum or something. All right, ready for the flip? Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Clarified butter instead of stick butter, question mark. I mean, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna. That's what, uh, that's what ghee is, right? That's kind of like the idea for ghee. That's something that we might be interested in switching to, just because it has a higher smoke point. So, right now we just use stick butter. Right. though. it's a lot cheaper, right? Stick butter is a lot cheaper. Well, I mean, you, you could take stick butter and turn it into ghee. You'll just warm it up, remove the fat solid, and you're left with clarified butter. So. I've always said when you're cooking burgers, I saw it today on the video and I cringed so bad because I looked at my wife and I said, see, I told you, you got to help the burger get off the griddle. You can't just scoop it in there and turn it if you want the crust. You work so hard to get it, 
keep working on it, right? So this is the deal. Just edge to edge. Every single video I do, whether you guys see it or not, every single video I do, or anytime I'm cooking, I clean as I go. This is a perfect example. Now, in this situation, the beef fat is actually good for my griddle. So look, it's already cleaned up, right? You're just getting those deposits off the griddle. On the three burner pit boss, when you just keep one side off, they're trying to convert um, from the black stone. So our, our pit boss actually seems to have a little bit of a cooler side already, which is kind of nice. Here's the pit boss. See the left side? See how it's the D-ring versus straight rings, but the pipe's smaller. It carries the same amount of BTUs, but the BTUs are spread over a larger area. So if you have your noms on the same um, temperature setting, this area is naturally cooler. I, I, I don't really actually uh, find myself, I can put that on later. There we go. I really find myself turning off the middle one more because there's a lot of, my, my pit boss gets hot right here. That's a sweet spot right there. So if I turn, adjust this one and turn this off, these two will carry the, temp, carry the heat well. Especially with this microphone attachment. Hang on. What kind of buns are we using today, honey? Stale buns. <laughs> Stale. I'll tell you why. I'm in the bread business. For those of you that don't for, know, his, for, his, for eight years, my real job. His real job, quote unquote. Yep. He is a bread Here, delivery right there. person. Let's see. So, yeah, you guys think I've got a great job outside of work. Well, of course, it is a good job. <laughs> I deliver bread. I'm the bread guy. You go inside the stores very early, and there are me stocking shelves. At like 4 a.m.? So, I've been doing it for eight years, and I don't think we've had fresh bread in eight years. <laughs> but you toast it on the griddle, and you never know. <laughs> um, All right, so what else? What else we got going on? I'm good, honey. I'm going to cut my griddle off. I say this all the time. Residual heat is crucial, right? Just go ahead and set up. Um, uh, so you take vegetables, right? Here, come over here so I can get off the griddle. This is the idea, and this is how you can clean your griddle faster with, with easier, right? If you take a scan, uh, a scan, um, a skillet full of vegetables and saute them, right? As long as the heat's on there, they stay pretty dry. Once you take your vegetables off, don't you notice that steam and that moisture building because the vegetables are still releasing their juices? Well, that in itself is enough moisture to help start deglazing your flat top grill. So once you turn off your griddle, right, those vegetables and move them to a cooler zone will start releasing those juices and that's sometimes just enough moisture instead of adding water just to release that fond. And sometimes that's all you need. So I just, you know, it's a balancing act. But that's why I always turn off my griddle way before I'm done cooking. Someone says, uh, thank you for stocking the bread. That's still serving the country. <laughs> hey. In a different way. <laughs> certain times of the year, and you know what I'm talking about, it was serving the country. <laughs> Yes, Jeff, we have 419 people now. Honey. I thought we'd get there. <laughs> awesome. I can't believe you guys. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you guys for being here. Some onions. I'm just going to toast them up, just get them warm. And since my wife said the jalapeno jelly was hot, I'm going to add a little bit more jalapenos. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> it's all about listening to your wife. <laughs> oh, Jay says, hey, I don't see a garden this year. 
No, we, we we did not really have time to do the garden this year. We're just so busy with everything else. <laughs> all right. I'm going to assume since all these three have cheeses oozing out. Yeah. I, and you know, the first time we made these guys, our cheese did not come oozing out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Uncle Rocky. He says, smash that like button. <laughs> Timothy says, hey, Neil, I'm on my way over. Come on, Timothy, brother. Do you live in Knoxville? <laughs> I know, I know some of our subscribers live in Knoxville. Some of them have actually seen Neil working in the grocery stores. Embarrassing. And have I don't recognized him and have come up to him. <laughs> Tell them the truth. So the first time it happened, I came home and I told my wife, obviously it's the first time it happened and you're like in an awkward position, but yet it happened. So you got to tell the significant other, right? So I told her, she didn't believe me. Did not believe me. I'm, I've got the big head, I'm making it up, calm down, fine. Not, I didn't say a word, went on my business. So we're out at the grocery store shopping for ingredients. We're in line. A guy looks over and goes, Hey, hey, I know you. And I look around and my wife was right here. The guy's over there. I'm like, you talking to me? He goes, dude, you're the flat top king. You make videos on YouTube. And I'm and she. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so it's, I don't know if it's Tim or Timothy, but he uh, works at Costco, honey. The one that said he's coming over. Really? <laughs> I'm sure you know him. <laughs> Tim, my boss? You know I deliver like at Costco? Yes. Oh, I don't Is know. Is he my boss? I, I think he's know. my boss. <laughs> Love Costco. <laughs> Night Hawk says your channel was the first to influence me to get a griddle. I'm looking forward to getting the Blackstone soon. I'm sure you'll love it. You'll be addicted. You probably won't want to cook in your kitchen. After There's two that. things that you have to recognize. One, you're going to save money because you're going to cook home all the time. And two, you need bigger clothes. It's so hard to cook on the <laughs> griddle and keep it like low calorie. It is extremely hard to do. And it's, it's, it's hard to do. It, it's, <laughs> it, I think it's hard to do. All right. Okay. How are you doing, baby? Am I distracting you? No. Doing good? <laughs> The burgers need to cool a little bit, but for the namesake, I'm gonna make my daughters, cause they're over looking at me like the Robins. When's my gonna be ready, Daddy? Someone says collaborate with Hungry Hussy. <laughs> We've asked him. I've actually, before I started the Griddle Channel, I actually or cooking in general, I actually looked up to Hussy. Like I mean, I still do. Um, my original, I, I in my mind, I perceive Hussy as like an OG, right? He's been doing it so long and his channels have grown so much that I, like, I looked up to him or look up to him as like one of the original like um, pathfinders. What's it called? Trail, trail Trailblazers, <laughs> right? Pathfinder. Yeah. And I reached Pathfinder, out to, I've actually reached out to Huzzy and I've asked him and uh, <laughs> he gave him the cold shoulder, but I think we're on the right track. <laughs> I think Huzzy's just too big for me. That's what I think. He don't want nobody like me. So Nighthawk says, I saw someone season the edges by turning the griddle plate around. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that is true. I haven't had a problem with my edges yet. Um, that's definitely true. So we'll just keep that open. Someone right. posted, oh, the comment went away too fast. Something about um, cleaning the equipment as an EM in the Navy. Like the kitchen equipment, I think he was talking about. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but thank you for your service, too. <laughs> the what's comment a, already left the screen. What's an EM? I don't know. All right. So what do we think? We got a good picture? What do you guys think? We're going to cut into it and see what we got. You ready? So this is for my youngest daughter, who makes all of her appearances on the Flat Top King. She likes ketchup. And pickles. Let's see. <laughs> That is what you call a Juicy Lucy, guys. <laughs> oh, he says electrician mate. Did they change it? Have they changed it? I don't know. Philip says uh, like those split buns. The Pepperidge Farm sourdough buns. Hey, thank you, Cedar Oak Farm. Five dollars. I think they just thank started you. commenting on our channel. I really appreciate it. They just started following us. 
So let, let's talk about that juicy, oozy cheese. I think uh, Jay says that definitely lives up to its name. I think so. Kaylee? Yeah. You ready? My oldest one's too good to be on camera. She's in that age group to where daddy embarrasses her. But the funny thing is, is her friends follow me on social media and it's killing her. Absolutely killing her. She's going into eighth grade and she cannot stand it. Here we go. You ready? Let's see it. Round two. <gasps> Did you put the wrong? It's the Borzen. That's the Borzen We'll have to one. save it for later. <laughs> I told you it was a... As a guess to see which one. As a guess. Someone says, thanks for being sexy, man. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. Thanks for saying it from my wife. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. That is a Juicy Lucy, guys. <laughs> she likes her just meat and bun. Yep. Whew. I know. Whew. I need a water break. Water break. All right. Okay. So this is ours. So this is the traditional Juicy Lucy at its finest. Granted, how they toast their bread is up to them. We're going to put some mustard on the bottom. This is what you guys would see if we filmed. Where? And you're also going to see what we do after the filming stops. <laughs> Which is take the bun off. <laughs> we got to watch those carbs. You got to, man. It's so hard not to. Plus, I, you know... I, I will say this, and a lot of people don't know this, each to their own. Even though I'm in the, what would you call it, food business, griddle business, making food for a living business, I cannot throw food away. Like, I resent it. I, I, I do not make food uh, just for a video and trash it because it's not healthy or it doesn't work. or I, Unless it just absolutely is just unedible, we find a way to use it. I mentally and emotionally cannot throw food away. Not in today's world. All right. So uh, here we go. Someone says, where did we get our prep cart? Um, so let's. Uh, no. Uh, it was um, Har Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight is where we got ours. I will say this, though, that people are looking for them. They could be different than me. I've been asking my wife to let's start looking around for a new one because I want one that's more open in the front. I would rather have like um, a two shelf or one shelf system, one shelf system because it's nice to put stuff on top when you come out, but you also want to be able to put stuff underneath, you know, like you're dirty with a dish that probably like, for example, this that has like a raw ground beef on it. You just want to slide it underneath, right? Just get it out of the way so you don't touch it again, but we don't have that option, so. But I'll tell you guys what he did yesterday. So he was looking for some place to put a carton of eggs after we filmed our video, um, uh, the egg and a whole breakfast sandwich. So he just opens up a drawer and he puts the carton of eggs in here and then he forgot about them. <laughs> he went to go make eggs this morning and of course we had to throw away the carton of eggs because they sat outside all day. All right. <laughs> but yes, this, this is actually a really nice um, setup. It's on wheels. So here is the Juicy Lucy that we would film Thank for you everybody. cooking with E&V. They say that we work well together. Yep. We're a good, good team, honey. Hashtag good team. <laughs> Amy ever use an air fryer? No. <laughs> Amy hasn't used anything. God, Amani. I can't wait. Oh, I God, missed this is you cutting me. into it. I missed, let's see. <laughs> this is just absolutely killing me. The girls were cheesier. <sighs> okay, where's my bite? Feed your camera, woman. <laughs> Now you know as much as she's been talking, <laughs> she's gonna get all that in her mouth. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. That's what you get. <laughs> I need a paper towel. No, you can't get nothing. <laughs> Here, use this. Don't use that one. That's for my grill. <laughs> Four hundred and thirty-four people. All right. For God, Do we do we so do good. catering? Someone wants to know. Hey, money talks. <laughs> He I'll actually, fly. I'll fly he, anywhere. He has catered a wedding before, actually. He made multiple what, ones, like 20, 25, 25 smoked pork butts. Pork butts. Yep. Yep. And uh, your cousin-in-law or cousin's wedding. We've done actual yep. several weddings. All right. Some, someone asked, "What did I do while you were on deployment?" 
So when Neil was on deployment, I was in college. We were not married yet, but we were um, dating. So I, I was in college. Uh, really quick. So I didn't want this to happen because I wanted to use it, but you know, life throws you curveballs. You just live with it. So I'm gonna put that pepper jelly on here. This is the one that we made. This is the the kicker. This was kind of like the surprise. I think it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. I have not tasted this. So this is hot pepper jelly. Yeah. Many people around the south. I don't know about the rest of the country. We just put over cream cheese. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Glad you're here. He says, cool that you got to catch our two live videos. Um, many people just put it over cream cheese as an appetizer with like rich crackers. So I've got those warmed up onions and jalapenos. So Jay asked, what is my full-time job? So I Are am... you ready for this answer? <laughs> so I'm a blogger. Uh, full-time I have a lifestyle blog for moms um, so it uh, I, I operate my website full-time and from home from home yes so that's what allows me to have a flexible schedule and film all these videos for Neil um, but I also um, write all of the posts on the flattopking.com so go check out the flattopking.com don't be modest well I'll tell you like this because she's embarrassed it's called thesavvysparrow.com. That is my website. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Since I had it made it upside down, let's flip it over. Mm, golly. All right, this is probably what I've been excited about the most. I kind of had a, an idea of what this is going to taste like. But this is where my heart is, right? You just take an idea, you make it your own. Could you stuff it with blue cheese, mushrooms, bacon? You stuff it with whatever, whatever you want to. This is what we decided to do this time. Yep, you could do like feta cheese. So this is Borzen. Let's do a recap real quick because I feel like I'm, I was filming a lot of you, not a lot of cooking. <laughs> this was our very first live, guys. Very first Well, how many live people are actually live? cooking live? Are they cooking with us uh, or are they oh, just hanging oh, out? There's my finger in the thing. That's <laughs> so we're at 426 people right now. What brand is the jelly? Terry wants to know. Oh my God. Is it good, baby? This is the jelly that we have. Oh my God. Taste it. I'm not kidding you. Okay. Let's see. Taste so, it. So, okay, tell them what it is. So, recap. This is Borzen cheese. Stuff like the Juicy Lucy. Two beef patties seasoned with our Pit Boss griddles or Pit Boss seasoning. Burger rub. We've got... Crispy jalapenos, crispy onions, and then it needed something, so we added the pepper jelly. Amy, I swear to you on our marriage, <laughs> this is one of the best burgers you'll ever eat. I guarantee you, and is I'm it not too spicy. I'm, no, I'm a whip. Just okay. eat it. Let me try. Okay. Put that beef in your mouth. Would you stop? <laughs> Take a big old bite too, Dan. Get your money's worth. Tell me, don't lie to the camera. Oh man. Don't lie. Don't lie. Are you my God, if you guys can see her, look at that. Oh, I wish I could turn the camera around. She'd kill me. That was very good. Cheers, guys. The hot pepper jelly and the boars and cheese. Kelly? Is amazing. The crispy onions add, like, the salt that you're missing. Ew! That is good. Can you put the jelly brand to the cam again? Let's see. There's other ones out there. The only reason why we got that one is because it was more readable. <laughs> so this is it. We, um, if you're in Tennessee or if you have an Ingles, we bought this mm. from Ingles. Oh. It is super good, guys. Don't lie. I'm not lying. <laughs> would you eat it? I would. Absolutely. Damn, that is so good. Oh, I'm like, sorry. Dang. 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 It, it just, mm. You guys want to try it? It's this got, one? It's got hot pepper jelly and crispy jalapenos. I don't think they want to try it. No. no. <laughs> you can hide your face. <laughs> but your friends like me more than they like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Nighthawk Predator says, We already exclusively cook at home. We haven't been to a restaurant since April 20th, 2020. Wow. Dang, son. <laughs> I got to um, get, get my Mexican fix in. 
Cooking with E and V says they would like to do a collab with us. <laughs> hang on. Oh, uh, hang well, on, hang on. Okay. Cooking with E and V, or Envy, however. I think it's E and V. E and V. Uh, message us privately on Facebook or Instagram or through our email. We'll get a hold of you guys. Yep. And then mom and dad said, um, when are we coming down uh, to cook for the boys at Yo, Harbor? Yo, let me tell you something, mom. I swear to you. <laughs> I swear to you. If you eat this, you might not have anything else. I, am I overreacting? No, it's very good. It's That it's jelly? The, I told you. I told you. The, the blend of flavors is perfect. Let me try that one. Mmm. That tastes like a big crystal. A big crystal. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. What's your Instagram handle? At the underscore flat underscore top underscore put, king. Yeah, flat top king. How how is it? I think it, it's super good. What? <laughs> the burger. This we kind of knew the flavor is going to be consistent because the idea that's on there, right? Onions, pickles, and mustard. We have a local um, restaurant. Maybe you guys are familiar with White Castle. It's basically like its brother or sister, however you look at it, 1A, 1B. And then in the south, it's called Crystals. <laughs> Sean says collab with Sam the Cooking Guy. Okay, if, if the 420 people that are on here right now go over and message Sam the Cooking Guy and say, hey, you should do a collab with the Flat Top King. We will pay for our own plane tickets to fly out to California to collab with Sam the Cooking Guy. I'm a big fan of Sam. We will have the plane tickets booked tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Sam. I like what he does. You want this? You want to split it? Or can I have yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, I'll take another bite. Uncle Rocky says Blackstone is missing the boat by not sponsoring you guys. <laughs> well, tell Blackstone too. Yeah, go over and tell Blackstone Here. too. <laughs> oh, Sean. Here. Uh, Here. Kelly says Sam doesn't collab. That's interesting. Uh, I did not know that. Probably not. He doesn't have to. <laughs> I agree. Mmm. It's incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> it's very good. If you're worried about doing the Juicy Lucy, make your burger, spread the cheese on bottom, spread the pepper jelly on top, Add your crispy onions. We found them at the grocery store in the salad section or the produce section. Somebody make this and give your honest, no BS opinion and put it on Facebook. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. You guys, I, someone says you guys are spoiling your dinner. This is our dinner. <laughs> so Neil, Neil goes to sleep at about 6.30 or 7 o'clock at night because he has to wake up at 2.45 to go to his real job <laughs> yeah 245 in the morning to make sure you guys have fresh bread on the shelf <laughs> yep hello from florida <laughs> hello rod well what else what, what we else got? you guys have any other uh final questions we're here oh here's bobby hey bobby he says sorry that i missed the cook we'll we'll cook ours later tonight evans or cotton bobby evans Bobby, where you been? <laughs> he said, "Life happens." I think that's the truth. It. <laughs> Rod says, "Thank you for your service." Let's see. They say uh, someone says they're going to make it this weekend. Mm. Do you have a PO box for viewers to send you something? Yes, we do, Richard. We have a PO box. Um, it is in the description. Um, on all of our YouTube videos, but the, it's P.O. Look. Box 23661. Look at the plates. Now tell me. Hey, it's... Kid approved. It's kid approved. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. Jeff, Jeff says, when is the next live? I'll take the time off work. I don't, should we do... Would you guys like to see us do a monthly live? Let's see. Do you guys want to do a monthly cook-along live? I could be pronouncing the name wrong. Trust me. When I say I'm bad on names, I'm just as bad on actual words. Is that Reinhardt? Jeff yes. Reinhardt? Yes. He's a part of our uh, members program, or join. Um, I am planning on doing an exclusive live with you guys. So whatever happens after this, that's fine. But uh, I promise you guys that I would get you guys 
separate and do more of a one-on-one. -on -one. So we're going to uh, probably reach out to you guys pretty soon. Um, and try to get as much feedback as we can from you guys what you guys would like for me to do. That way, because it's just kind of easier to answer answer the questions and comments. Mm -hmm. So everyone says yes, 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 yes. Yes to what? A, Another live? On a monthly live. Yes. Uh, someone says, I'm in. Run a poll with votes to see what you make. So we actually did that last time on the Griddle group on Facebook. He can't stop eating the burger. <laughs> it, I think it's a jelly. Yeah, it is. It is super good. So now we got the original with pickle, mustard. I mean, just look at that. I mean, how do you not pick that up and say, God, that's going to be good. <laughs> Both of them are very good. Yes, Jeff says we said his name correctly. <laughs> it's a jelly. <laughs> the jelly is super it's good. It's a jelly. What's in your cup? Today it is <laughs> it is cherry coke zero. We can't tell you what's in it. She told me not to say a word. It is cherry coke zero. <laughs> it's a nice cup though. Cherry coke. Cherry coke. <laughs> we need we need a cook off between you two. Matt, are you talking about me and Neil? Because Neil Neil would win every time. I mean I would probably look cuter. <laughs> That's not true. Wait till I get all dolled up. <laughs> I'll put my hair back. Oh, someone says we need to add an uni pizza oven to our backyard. So we actually are testing out a pizza oven right now. Um, <laughs> oh, Bob says it's been fun, kids. He's got to go start making dinner. It's good to see you, Bob. Thanks for joining us. Ooh. Richard says, Flat Top King, do you and your wife wear the same size t-shirt? No, he's a little bigger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says, it's funny how embarrassed your one daughter is. <laughs> yeah. It's a, what's embarrassing is she knows that her friends like me, and every time I bring it up, she gets really embarrassed. That is not true. Uh, Macy and uh, uh, Dax both follow me. <laughs> And they let me know about and it too. Italia, don't forget and Natalia. She was my thousandth subscriber. <laughs> yeah, Carly, sell it. Alright, so look, my flat top is extremely cool. But since I've already done the hard work about scraping it while I was on. Um, Richard says, what size t shirt? Uh, Richard, uh, men's extra large. What did you say? After eating that burger, I feel like an extra lord. God, that was good. I'm telling you. There are so many people on here live. You're here because you wanted to be a part of this. I would never lie to you. Matter of fact, on our whiskey pancakes that we made with the bourbon, I was straight up. I was like, man, it's missing. Was it great? Yes. Was it perfect? No. I wouldn't lie to you. That dang burger with the cheese and the, um, the boars and cheese... And the hot pepper jelly, I'm telling you, somebody, all of you, have got some. I know you think it's spicy. Did you think it was spicy? No, I thought it was perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced flavors. Food needs balance between acidic, salt, and heat. And that nailed it. <laughs> Richard said he's going to send you a t-shirt that says, uh, I see you looking at my sweet butt. It's a barbecue t-shirt. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hey, you know what they say about a man with a big griddle? Big spatula. <laughs> That's the next t-shirt that we're actually in the process of working on. That's it. <laughs> what flavor was the boars in? Um, it's just the original uh, boars in. Let's see. Where did it go? Right here. Cheers from Fresno, California. Cheers, Mike. Thanks for being here. Mike, my brother. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Have you been here the whole time? <laughs> Um, it is, oh, here's the Borson. Oh, right there. Trying to find things. Right here. Garlic and herb. <laughs> New Mexico loves the flat top king. I love New Patrick. Mexico. We right need some, we, listen. I need some, and some of those like New Mexican style, like green chilies, right? So we've got this fantastic green chili cheeseburger that we made. But we only have one grocery store that brings them in that roasts them for us that I know of. And we never go there because it's not a part of our area. Um, I would really, really like some green chilies from the heart of green chili land. <laughs> I 
Um, someone says another close up of the jelly. This jelly is very good. God, it it made the burger. I, I'm sure you guys can make your own. You can fry your own onions or jalapenos. The crunch, it definitely needs a crunch, okay? Because it's there's a lot of creaminess. We made it the first time. Uh, we did not put mayonnaise on it afterwards. We did toast our buns. We made it, and it was really good. We, we both looked at each other and said, if we're going live and it's going to be a secret and we're going to tease it, it's got to be perfect. And I told her, I said, it's, mi it's just missing something. And then, like, maybe that week or that day or whatever, the hot pepper jelly just came to mind because it reminds you of that cream cheese. And I'm telling you right now, it is a freaking home run. We're yes, going to make a video about it. I guarantee you, we will make a video about it. Yes, we will period. do. Just in case, like, because I know this live was kind of crazy trying to read off everybody's comments and everything like that. But we that burger deserves its own dedicated video. It was super good. And um, it, someone... It might be. I mean, look, this is classic, right? You can't get away from mustard and pickle and, and American cheese, right? Once you get that crust, look at the crust. I mean, the crust is, I mean... We're deconstructing the burger now. <laughs> I mean, because I'm telling you, I, I haven't had something crust. that good in that yeah, long. Yeah, I know. No one said anything about your burger crust. That was a good crust, baby. High five. Knuckles. <laughs> you taught me well, honey. <laughs> um, someone said, is the recipe available on our website? It is, in fact. Thank you for asking. I worked very hard on the on that blog post. Hang on. It is up there. Halfway. The, yes. the original is on the website. The other one is not, but you guys saw how we um, how we made it, right? You're just spreading the pepper jelly. Like I said, you don't even have to stuff your burger, right? Put the boars and cheese on the bottom. Allow that burger to sit on there, which will warm up the bur uh, the uh, boars and cheese. Put the caramelized onions on top of the burger and top it with the um, the jelly, right? And put your um, crispy onions and your crispy uh, jalapenos on top. You don't have to do one or the other. Yep, it was good. I, but but yes, go check out the flattopking.com after you guys are done with the with the live. Um, the flattopking.com. This recipe is already on there, and you will also get a sneak peek of the video that will be posted tomorrow because that that recipe is also already up there. <laughs> yep, they know about it. Oh, I was frustrated. I messed up on it. The dessert. members know. It was people ask, does he ever mess up? He did mess up this one thing, <laughs> but then he got it perfectly. Mm. Was, on the second try, he got it perfectly. I don't like messing up food. <laughs> that hurts my soul. I'm better than that. I should have known. <laughs> oh. What else? I'm ready. Now Now I can focus on oh, the people. Someone says my fellow Doyle High alumni. Oh, oh, who is it? James Belcher. What year? What year did you graduate, James? <laughs> Someone, <laughs> someone's on as President Trump. Beautiful people making beautiful food in beautiful America. <laughs> there we look, go. I mean, it don't matter where you look. Oh, so we got a guy from uh, uh, that contacted us, and he's making one for right here. A so, flag. yep, it doesn't matter where you look, whether my cup, whether my intro. He, he just got this, there. which. <laughs> He thought the front of our cart was a little empty. <laughs> how many people got on there? Uh, I don't know how many people we got up to. Anybody know? I think we got up to like 435 people. Now we're on about 358. Okay. So what, Timothy let's go. says, great job, Neil. I will have to get a Blackstone now. <laughs> hey, yep. about the Blackstone. Somebody told me this one time after I did my pros and cons video and it kind of stuck with me. I wish I'd have known it before then. I, I should have, but it's just the truth. So the reason why we got this was because of the air fryer. Ironically, we don't use the air fryer as much as what we thought it would. Matter of fact, we struggle to find ways to, to put stuff in the air fryer. When you go to the Camp Chef, the reason why I bought the Camp Chef is because you can remove the lid, uh, the griddle. You can remove the griddle top and it's an open grill. That's how they made it. It's like a two-in-one system. Ironically, we don't use it that much. I do have my other grill, but I was kind of excited about that to have that option. Just come out, turn the propane on, turn the gas on. You got a quick steak, a couple quick vegetables, and you're good to go. What? <laughs> oh, Dad oh. Me. oh, they're watching me. Um, as for the air fryer, somebody made the comment. You're going to spend more money for the air fryers. Probably more money than what an air fryer costs because it's an option, right? So what they told me I should have said, and I agree, I'm, I'm not always right. 
um, you can buy an external air fryer and plug it in outside and have just as good a quality as you would with these. Because if this breaks, you've got a more expensive griddle, right? Because you've already brought it. Or what if for some reason your griddle warps or you don't like using it or whatever. Now you've got an X amount of piece of dollar worth air fryer. So I would just kind of like caution to the wind. If you do get one, get whatever which one you want. I'm only saying the air fryer could be good or bad and... I agree with the guy. I'd much rather go with like a really good griddle um, versus the uh, the idea of the combo. If I had to do it over again, I would have not got the same one. Uh, Jeff, we are still in the testing phase of the pizza oven. So it takes, um, he said, he said, I saw a pizza oven over there. We're still in the testing phase. It's a little bit of a learning curve it is. to get it perfect. So we that's why we haven't said anything about the pizza oven yet. Yep. Different doughs. Oh, Steve says baked potatoes in the air fryer with olive oil and salt work great. That that is a good use of the air. That is, I don't, no, no, I'm not saying you can't find uses. I'm just saying like, would you rather do that or? I mean, you're going to use your propane up, right? Or the more efficient way for us, only for us, we have like a little countertop um, convection oven that we use ex what every single day, if not almost every single yeah, day. I'm trying to read comments at the same time. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, someone actually just said the exact same thing that you did is that the air fryer is is uh, uses the valuable propane. But mm. that is just a point when if, if you don't have a griddle yet and you're looking for one, um, we, you know, you might not, maybe you will, but you might not use the like extra attachments as much as you think you would. Right, right. Yep. Someone says, I'm enjoying my Pit Boss 3 burner. Yep. And I'm someone, actually. Someone said Pit Boss, Blackstone, or Camp Chef. And that's like asking to pick which is your favorite kid. <laughs> Yeah, I'd pick another wife. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, I've been wanting to make a video about this, but this is just the honest God's truth, right? If we're going to do a live, we might as well be honest with it. You see how discolored my flat top is? Different angles can show different like degrees of how darkened it is and not. When I first got it, I was on the bandwagon of cleaning it all the time. I was getting frustrated about how often I was having to like deep clean it. Ultimately, once I got past that and I didn't care what the surface looked like, as long as it was performing the way it was supposed to, then I didn't care what it looked like. Okay. Some people, they have problems with that. I personally didn't because I was over it. I didn't like the fact I was having to deep clean three, five, seven cooks in with baking, baking soda. We've got that video available all the time, right? It was just a chore. Matter of fact, it like put the, the pit boss down. Now that I'm over it, honestly, this is just me being honest. I like it better than all of them. So what I do now is I just wipe the dang thing off. I, I steam clean it just like I would my Blackstone. I steam clean it just like I would my uh, Camp Chef if needed. But what happens is, right, there's a thin coat of oil on there right now. So you heat your griddle up. Naturally, the oil is going to start burning to the surface, right? That's just called the natural polymerization. We use avocado oil almost exclusively unless we need an olive oil or butter to cook with. So once I'm done cooking, it's cleaned off, I'll put a very, very thin coat of oil down. Well, when you preheat it, you know that once it starts smoking, that's that natural problemization happening. And that's why your griddle top gets discolored. As long as there's no food deposits left over, don't worry about the color. Like I said, some people will. But the actual griddle itself still cooks flawlessly. And I'm not going to be honest with you. I deal with these jokers all the time about seasoning. Look, I've already got seasoning coming up right here. See that? I need to do a little bit more attention to it, which is fine. I don't mind doing it. You know, this is, I, I love my, I had my camp chef for two years. But with this thing, I got to be honest with you, I, I like it more and more. That's just the truth. <sighs> okay, any final questions? Wow. Where you got to go? Well, there's still 340. Okay. Where you got to go? Just give me a water break. Just give me a water break. <laughs> Just give me a water break. There we go. There's the... I, I like this right here. I like this right here. What brand of avocado? So there's two brands. We use uh, Chosen and there's a Better Foods. Uh, we've kind of almost... Ex I would say exclusively went to Chosen, but we actually like the reaction of Chosen better. Uh, when I was on my big health kick... No, Dad didn't say he had a favorite kid. Has a favorite, if he has a favorite girl, then he has a favorite kid. Mike, what'd you know? Better body? Yeah, thank you. Mike, what'd you know? You knew it. What'd you know? I just adjust my igniter on my camp chef and get them wiped consistently, constantly.
What? Huh? I don't know. I couldn't read fast enough. We'll, we will try to answer um, as some many of the questions. Other comments, yep. Like yep. in the Bring comments in. of this video. <laughs> I'm but, game. Let's see. Any other? Now that I don't have, now that I'm not cooking, I can focus. I can answer as many questions as you guys will give. <laughs> I have nothing to do. I've been waiting for this for a month. Like the anticipation has been killing me. Like nervous, not nervous. It's just a burger. It is a burger, but you're live. You can't edit it. Is it going to work out? Hell yeah, it worked out. Look at it. It still looks good. <laughs> After it's been sitting there for 30 minutes, it still looks good. <laughs> Someone says, I thought it was her turn to cook. So I think that we talked about maybe like me trying to do one griddle video a month. Yeah. And it would be like very focused on beginners mm -hmm. because you guys know I'm very much a beginner. Basic ingredients, basic technique just to get you through, right? We're not trying to uh, climb Mount Everest as a beginner. So uh, I think we're going to do smash burgers for her. I know she's going to be very, very timid because the heat uh, that comes off of a big griddle, when you have a smaller griddle, you might not notice as much. But when you put your hand over, right, there's a lot of heat that comes up and you got to smash. So I'm going to help her on that. Um, but I'm not going to do it before we film. Whatever she does from now on is going to be all natural raw. I will not help her. I'll help her while we're filming, but she's going to have to learn. Yeah. There's my water refill. What are you? What? Yeah. For what? what? I'm, oh, I bet you need one of those neck braces. I bet you'll go on Amazon. You'll need one of those neck braces with an arm sling Tom says, and a big... Tom says what's going to be our next purchase, grill or smoker. What... What has caught your eye? So we have a super, super, super good um, uh, charcoal grill. If anybody follows me from like day one, which not a lot of people on here have, I actually had a huge smoker right out here. It was a stick burner. And I actually ended up giving it to my dad. And during that time, it was like maybe my second or third video we ever produced. And I said, I'm in the market for a pellet smoker. I was so close to buying one. Then the flat top grill came up and it just brung so many memories back from the Navy. I'm like, man, I gotta have one, right? Maybe I will just wait a year for the flat top or for the uh, smoker, you know, whatever. It wasn't that big of a deal because I was gonna upgrade this regardless. I had another, I had the performer and I was gonna upgrade this so it didn't matter. So instead of getting the pellet smoker, I got the flat top grill. Six, nine, 12 months later, you know, the name change from the Charcoal King to Flat Top King. That's why I, sometimes I still wear the Charcoal King shirt. Um, my eyes a pellet smoker. I know there's a charcoal gravity fed a uh, couple of brands out there. And although I want it more than anything, I've already got a charcoal grill. So I'm trying to balance the ratio of like what you can do. So if you really know what passion is, passion is when you smoke something for 8, 10, 12, 14 hours on the grill. You braise it, you smoke it, you do whatever, and then you find a way to put it on the griddle. Oh, God. The flavor is just unfreaking matched Like those <laughs> smoke pork rib taco queso okay. style. Keep, keep your answers a little shorter. Oh, okay. I can't keep up. All right. <laughs> All right, what up? Um, someone says green egg or Komodo Joe. Honestly, we have no experience with either one, so we couldn't. We couldn't Even though that. the brand new Webers are called Komodo Joe. Jim, Jim says, do you sell t-shirts? Yes. If we you, um, We're no. making one very similar to this. Yeah, um, uh, but we have like 10 different t-shirts right now. If you look in the description of our, like one of our YouTube videos, it, there should be a link. This is actually a double wall construction versus the Kamado and the green egg has that uh, ceramic or the, uh, the big bricks inside that come up that hold heat. This is very, very, very sensitive to heat, right? So if you shut your dampers off, give it a couple minutes, you'll notice that your temperature starts coming down. You'll also notice that um, when you open all your flames up, it's got this really good uh, idea like this to allow the oxygen to come up. You can raise your temperature in a hurry. And I like the ability to be able to adjust your temperatures really quick. <laughs> yep, okay, what other questions, guys? It's hard to it's hard to remember the questions as he's answering one, so I apologize for that. No, uh, just to reiterate, we just want to say thank you very much. Uh, we've been building the anticipation to get here. Um, without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Uh, the interaction, the comments, 
Um, if you're new to griddling and you're nervous or you just follow us along, we're always open and willing to help. Um, Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> we just really, really, really enjoy the camaraderie. It's almost like a family away from family. <laughs> Our doc set says, has the queen done sales? No, I've never worked in sales. I have worked in retail. I guess that's probably the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> What? The quail! I guess, I guess because I was I guess because I was selling your t-shirts, honey. <laughs> Someone says your yard looks awesome, so you have a rider mower. <laughs> Does it look like I ride? Yeah. <laughs> well I do, but I walk it. I walk it for the exercise. I've got to get exercise, so I walk it uh ninety nine percent of the time. I start he, the smoker twi or the rider twice a year. He is very proud of his yard. <laughs> Um, someone says, are the Pit Boss spatula sets any good? We actually have it. We have not tried it yet, to be honest. Oh, which reminds me, someone asked, do we use metal on our Pit Boss? Do you want me to answer that? <laughs> All right. So, so we do. I do have the Pit Boss spatula set, but I do not use them. They're just for decoration. And it's no slight to Pit Boss. It's because I really believe in the spatula that I use for certain reasons. Two, we just had a guy reach out to us in a surprise box in our PO box and literally made us custom scrapers uh, and a bench scraper that I'm just like almost emotional about. So I'm scared to use them because I don't want to ruin them. Out of wood, yeah, he made them out of wood. So Alan the, from Arizona, if you're so out here, thank you. The scraper I might use, but typically, what was the question? Do I use the pit balls? Do you use metal spatulas? Just show oh, them Oh, use, yes. I do use metal spatulas, I'll say this. I've got a canned response. I only use a certain spatula, a lot of reasons. It's flexible, it's thin, it's got rounded edges, it's not beveled at the sides, and I can control it very well. Um, other spatulas, like the Pit Boss spatula, I would absolutely never, ever, ever use these suckers, especially on the ceramic coated, because they're not made for it. This is beveled and sharp, and this can cut into your ceramic extremely fast. These are Heavy, heavy, heavy duty spatulas. Uh uh. I would never use those. Not, so, not on this you have to use at your own risk. I would say that. Two, you have to feel confident in doing it. If you're confident in the griddle to begin with and you're confident in your skills on the spatula, then then go ahead and do what you want to do. If you're not as confident in your, in your beginning and you're learning how to scrape fruit, scrape food, and to get your fond off and to steam and how to clean as you go, then I would shy away from metal. Wood is another thing. Wood you spatulas. Wood out here? Real quick. It's in yeah, the dish so right just now. to reiterate though, um, definitely use the metal spatulas on your pit boss at your own risk. So So this was something that we bought from a company called Early Wood. The Amazon link is listed in all my descriptions below. It's beveled a little bit, it's extremely thin, but it accepts the ceramic accepts it and it accepts the ceramic very well, right? It just glides effortlessly. You're not worried about uh, scratching the ceramic coated top um, and you can get all the food off necessary just with uh, a wood scraper. So I use my metal spatula and my wood scraper. Yep. Um, and we actually, we also have a full video on the best griddle spatulas, like just one video. Because all. these are out of stock. So often people are getting frustrated. They're like, why are you trying to sell me something? I'm like, I'm not selling you anything. I'm just selling what I use. It turns out you guys bought so many of them, they can't keep them in stock. Um, but yeah, that that is his absolute favorite spatula. New Star. Yes. New so, Star. Yeah, but go check out that video. We literally tested out probably like 20, 20? Yeah. different spatulas. And he kind of talked about each one. Um, and then he also gave other suggestions in that video for the Pit Boss also. Yep. Some um, silicone utensils that are good. I just want to say that dang burger was fan-freaking-tastic. That was good, baby. <laughs> Golly. Yep. That was better than what I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be better. I didn't know it was going to be that better. <laughs> I know. I think that's a southern thing where you just take a block of cream cheese and you put it on a plate and then you put hot pepper jelly over top and then you serve it with crackers. That's kind of what gave us the idea. Mm -hmm. Like there's a new fad out there, uh, especially on TikTok and stuff where you smoke cream cheese, where seasoning or no seasoning, depending on you. Uh, but I mean, I gotta be honest with you, we've been doing it for years, years, <laughs> way before it became a fad. Yep. Oh, well, 
let's see any other questions guys there's now we we're at 315 people so people are slowly starting to trickle off that's still a lot of people someone says hello from Dun duncan oklahoma hey did uh correct me if i'm wrong the name might uh i might mispronounce where's my guy from poland uh, oh, Basili. Basili. He was here. I don't he know was. if he's okay. still here, but he he was here. So we do. We have a friend from Poland who is an active member of our Facebook group and he puts out a some lot. phenomenal and he shows content. us what he's making in Poland. Um, these are not frozen. These we bought in the produce section. Produce section. Almonds, cranberries, and they yep. had these. Yep. So those are not frozen. Someone says, get the new Camp Chef Apex Smoker Grill. I know. Trust me. I know. I've been looking at it. I just like wipe my face off like this and drool. It looks like a beast. <laughs> uh, Hard Doc says, what are you growing in the garden? We're actually, we skipped our garden this year. We yeah. really honestly did not have time for it. And it seems like it. I just didn't have time to pull the weeds every day. <laughs> well, we plant the garden at the same time. You water it for three months straight. And then all of a sudden you got 950 tomatoes. And then you got to determine whether or not you're going to use them or can them or freeze them. Then all your cucumbers come in at the same time, roughly. <laughs> all your squash, all your zucchini. Yeah, it, it was a little overwhelming. We did not do the garden this year. Hard Doc says you have kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean these kids too? <laughs> They want, he wants you to pull the weeds, girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, right. Not Mike, my kids. Mike says, when will you start the once a month cook, Amy? Uh, you know, maybe give me another like three weeks to recover. <laughs> we might do it tomorrow. Put the pressure on her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Someone says they skipped their garden also. Decided to travel in the RV more instead. Yep. That's, I would, I would choose that also. <laughs> That's what we want to do is travel. Yeah, when we're older. Speak for yourself. Someone says the spatulas with the white handles. Yes, um, we have a link in the description of all of our YouTube videos for these spatulas. Um, those are our favorite ones. Someone says get yourself a refill, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Joe says loves the live show. Where'd you go, baby? <laughs> Here's another one that we bought that's a new star as well. Are they in this new star? It could be a different brand. I think it is, yeah. I don't think it is. I, I think it might actually be a different brand. Uh, but it is extremely, extremely similar. Uh, it's not It's not a new star. But this is the closest thing that we can find to a new star. They do have new stars that are black handled, and they also have them with holes in them. So. Yep. And this one also is in the... Um, Description. It's, uh, I don't know if it's in the description. This is in the griddle spatula. video that we did. Yeah, we spatula. Did, like, what the, spatula to use on the griddle? griddle yeah. spatulas video. Yep. 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 Ask the kids how much they love being on YouTube. <laughs> one loves it because she's on my videos all the time. If she, if she could be on every single video, she would be on it. <laughs> the other one, you can tell that she's just very people person. <laughs> Are the uh, Safe Harbor Boys still on here? I don't know. Mom and Dad, you guys still here? <laughs> I don't know. They might have signed off. We're at 88 minutes right now, honey. We're at about an hour and a half. Keep your arm up. I know. You I'm should trying. be training for this. I want you to see lifting weights for now on. I am. I'm going to need like some, I'm going to have to do some bicep curls oh, for the next one. <laughs> they don't make one pound curls, honey. <laughs> one pound curls. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Yeah, so next I'm going to do smash burgers for beginners. So That'd be a good be, one. That's going to be my next video. It's amazing how many people struggle with it. So if we can get you on board to uh, create good smash burgers, I think if you can do it, then we can relate to hopefully the people that watch the video that it can be done. Yep. New Olympic event. <laughs> <laughs> curling, griddle. curling the camera. No, griddle for beginners. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, I've had a blast. Uh, Thanks, Steve. Do, do we know Thanks, how many? Kelly. Do we know how many people um, cooked with us today? Uh, I think someone said that we, gosh, maybe we got up to four hundred and forty. No, I mean, like, how many people were actually cooking, or were they just doing uh, live? I don't know. I don't know how many. Was anybody that's still on here actually cooking along with us? It's probably hard to cook and watch the screen at the same time. Maybe we didn't think about this all the way. <laughs> 
Someone says, buy me a tripod. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Then she's got everything easy now. This is the one thing she's got. The one thing. <laughs> Someone says, last question, King. Are you ready for SEC football? <sighs> Uh, less than 10 Saturdays away, uh, I will have the fall off. I will be traveling to an away game, probably the LSU game. Uh, we're looking pretty good this year. We got the one, two, three, four, whatever you call it, number one quarterback in the country. No, I'm not ready at all. Dang right, I'm ready. For those of you to, that don't know, we live in Knoxville, Tennessee, about seven miles from the University of Tennessee. Um, My dad still lives in the same house and we grew up. We used to walk from our house to campus and watch games. It didn't matter if it was basketball, baseball, or football. That's how close we lived. And if you get an aerial view of the Tennessee River and the stadium, the stadium's typically on the left, the river's on the right, back up on the hill, you can see our neighborhood. It's pretty neat. <laughs> yep, so he is a huge UT volunteer football. Go balls. Go balls. Yep. <laughs> they just returned home from Tennessee back to New York. <laughs> or back from New York, maybe. How was it? Someone, Richard says, well, Texas Longhorns just got the best <sighs> QB. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, we'll see. We'll, James, we'll see. We'll see. No, no, James, we do not live in Vestal. We, if, if you, uh, um, if no. you're familiar, I guess you're familiar with Knoxville. We live in the Carnes area. So, but he grew up in South Knoxville. Um, right across from Vestal. <laughs> not in Vestal, yeah. <laughs> will, you eat, will you be doing videos with your pizza oven? We are still testing it out to see, um, you know, how we like it. Someone actually had mentioned earlier, I saw, um, that they tried a pizza oven and their pizza got just absolutely burnt to a crisp. That's about the same thing that happened to us the first time. So you, it really takes some skill. Um, you have to like move it around a lot. So we're still testing it. That's why we haven't actually mentioned it on a video yet. You have to adjust your temperatures. You have to preheat it for a while to get that uh, clay square heated up. Um, Rich, Richard says do pizza on your griddle. Richard, I have been telling Neil that I want you to can't. cook Let me tell you something. No, my this is, no, flatbread no, pizza this on is, the griddle. This is the truth. <laughs> We took the griddle top off of a Blackstone so we could film like this. Okay, that's how my camp chef is set up. We didn't take the griddle top off the pit boss because I wanted to have one griddle with a dome. I just want to openly and honestly say this. There's some things like a brisket, ribs, a whole pork loin, whatever, that should not be cooked on a griddle. I personally feel like a pizza is not griddle material. There's so many other methods out there that can make a pizza better. Why? Because you only get bottom temperature. This seems like it struggles to get bottom temperature, but it gets a lot of top temperature. It's hard to get that convection to get the top of the dough browned or uh, crusty and melt the cheese at the same time. I'm, I'm anti-pizza on griddle. But I am going to make my flatbread pizza, which is made with a store-bought flatbread, and it's super good. That... When I cook the dinner... The dough is this thick. <laughs> I love it. When I cook dinner, that's what I make. I really like it. Salad, flatbread pizza. That might be it. Someone says they were hard on their griddle with a metal spatula. Is there any way to bring it back to life? What griddle? Which griddle? I'll wait for the comment to come back up. Yep. Well, <laughs> if it's a rolled steel, you can bring anything back. Layer... Yeah. Yep. Larry says, do more videos on desserts. <laughs> I am all about that, Larry. We do. Ha now, does Larry know that we do have videos on desserts already? I'm sure he does. He okay. says, do more. Oh, okay, okay. Larry. And Monday, we're I posting. I thumbs up for that. We're thinking about doing a chocolate cherry jubilee, like chocolate pound cake, flambe cherries, maybe with some ice cream or whipped topping, if you guys are interested. Yep. Larry says, yes. <laughs> That's just what I need on my June healthy eating month. Hard Doc says pancakes are dessert. So actually, the video that we post tomorrow, we're going to post a new video tomorrow, Larry. And just to give you a little sneak peek, it is strawberry shortcake pancakes. White chocolate. With white chocolate chips. It and, was fantastic. And we put ice cream in the batter. Yes. And shortbread cookies. Yes. So white chocolate, strawberry, shortbread pancakes with ice cream. It was very good. 
<laughs> yep. Where was the restaurant in Wyoming where you worked? Uh, Hartville, Wyoming, southeast, uh, about 45 minutes, about 40 minutes south of Torrington, about 40 minutes north of Cheyenne, and it was called Miners and Stockman. It's still there. Scott's still the owner. Uh, we talk on a regular basis. Uh, basically, became one of my best friends. Miss him dearly, so if he ever sees this, just know that brother love, brother. Um, <laughs> I is, miss that place. And the steakhouse um, is actually in Wyoming's oldest bar. Yes. So that's a fun fact. The bar top, yes. The bar top is Wyoming's oldest bar, uh, like in the middle 1800s. Um, it's uh, open uh, uh, Thursday through Sunday, uh, reservations only, <laughs> serving prime meats, some of the best meat you've ever had. Period. Yep. <laughs> Whew. Dang, honey, my arm is getting tired. No, you suck it up, <laughs> buttercup. <laughs> Don't give up on these people. They haven't given up on you. <laughs> We're down to 267. They're slowly They're trickling slowly off. Trickling They've had off. enough of me. I don't blame them. <laughs> Kelly says, hit the like button. Yeah, we have 223 likes, so thank you, guys. Well, Paul 50%. says, your videos are great. What, where I struggle is what heat ranges you cook everything at. Could you include your heat range more often? Uh, no. <laughs> because it's always on low. However much temperature you let it build, the temperature just keeps rising. We have a video on what temperature to use. Like a uh, flat top grilling temperature doesn't matter. Because once your gas flat top is on, it's extremely hard to, uh, to navigate, right? I mean, you really, that's why I use butter so often. Somebody just commented today, why do you use butter so often? Because it's immediately a telltale sign. Once you put butter on, depending on how the butter reacts, you can get that reaction in your head and you'll know if it's if it browns too fast, if it smokes, it's too hot, right? I always keep my burners on low. It's how long you let it preheat and build heat that determines the temperature. Flat top grilling is extremely difficult if you're worried about temperatures. So that's why we we do own a temperature gun, but we very, very rarely use it. If you saw my first ever griddle cook um, that, that we posted like a week ago, I have never cooked on the griddle before, and I did not use a temperature gun. I used the butter trick. So I just put a little butter down. Go check that video out. And you can tell the difference. If you're, very, if you're watching very closely, you can tell the difference between the first time she put the butter down how hot it, regardless of what she says, oh, the flat top's cool. You could tell how the butter react. And then we should put my over easy eggs down or over medium eggs. You could see the difference in how the butter react because the scrambled eggs took that temperature away and she immediately put butter down. So that's a telltale sign. Yep. Sean says I could watch this for hours. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Good. Because <Sean. laughs> that way she could hold her hand up for hours. <laughs> since someone, David says, since you are talking tips, what is your take on loco? So the more I read about it, the more that realization comes into point, right? So from my understanding only is you turn the knob to, a, it's a digital knob. So if you want 267, you turn it to 267. It's energy driven. So if you put a lot of food on there or do anything like that, the temperature is going to drop. It's going to work to get itself back up, but it's not going to pass the point of 267. So what I know today does kind of change my mind about the loco. Can it cook in fantastic food? Yes, but I think that it still has the same problems as most griddles, which is temperature, temperature control. The temperature will drop on the griddle, but and it might recuperate faster, but you're limited. You're still going to have the, 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 the highs and the lows because it's energy driven. Oh. So our friend from Poland, is it is it bas Basili? How, what? How do yes. Say how would you like for me to say it redneck terms? Because I can't pronounce a lot of words. So he's, but he um, he said that he just finished eating his Juicy Lucy and it was delicious. So he cooked it with us. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate <laughs> it. Are you going to show pictures on the griddle group? <laughs> you talking about a scene? Paul, a Paul says I say we stay on live until the arm drops. <laughs> Till the last one leaves, I'll have to get another beverage. We might have to switch places, though, honey. I can answer questions. Are you kidding? No, no, no. This is all about you. 
<laughs> this is hilarious. Live from Virginia. Hey, what part of Virginia? What part? Been there, served there. And then someone said, did we get the cover on our patio? Um, so we, this part is uncovered, as you can see. And then this part is covered right here. Um, so we are covering this part. We have the metal sitting out here in our driveway. Um, but we have to wait for my dad to be in town to help I us. I don't do heights. Neil does not do heights. I don't do five gallon buckets. I don't do heights. I do not, I don't do spiders or, I, I don't do that junk. <laughs> I'll grab a possum by the back of the neck every single day, but I will not grab a snake or a spider ugh, or <laughs> heights. I don't deal with heights. Yeah. So we will have this part covered. What does the camera friendly kid like? And will she make that meal and a video? Kenzie, what is your favorite? Um, what is your favorite? Um, like food? To, for the griddle. You like breakfast? You like French toast? You like dessert? You want a burger? Calm down, big guy. Calm down, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Um, probably breakfast because I'm really hungry in the morning. Yep, some chocolate chip pancakes. Yes. <laughs> yep. Definitely. Richard says, but Flat Top King, you worked 50 plus feet above the water. In the Navy, on the ship, when you're up. <laughs> yeah, but we're a big old ship too. Like, you didn't even come. I mean, we went through a hurricane before and we just held on. <laughs> we put our straps up in the bunk. I I was at night crew when I got first promoted to the chief's mess. And we had to put those three security straps up. So uh, Brian and Kim say, when's the 24-hour live? Breakfast, <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Sorry, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> that might be tripod. Yeah. <laughs> Someone says, scared of heights. Who stocks the bread on the top shelf? <laughs> just take the bread like this and just... <laughs> oh, honey. If you guys knew how bad your bread was touched before you got it. Oh, honey. Here, what do you girls want to hold the camera and read I, off, I, I, and read Haley, off the comments? Kayla would just be like, oh, no, I'm scared. Oh, wait, I don't want Someone to. Someone says, we're breakfast. Kaylee, can you hold the camera? Don't have your, you can hold it like this. And then you can, can you read questions that come up? See, yep, you got it. Here, you can be over here. We're, we're switching, we're switching camera people. This isn't even that heavy. What's this? It's heavy. When, no, you, it's not. when you hold it for 102 minutes, it's heavy. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. She there wanted more here. camera time. I knew it. This is how, you know, she takes over the griddle. Now she's taking over my live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why do you want to be right here? This is hot. No, it's not. <sighs> okay, are there, Kaylee, honey, you gotta what? just focus I'm, on one, I can't. like hold it still. You got it? Yeah. Is your lose. arm already tired? No. So we have our 12 year old behind the camera now. She, if anybody is left on this live, is actually the, the creator of most of our t-shirts. The graphic design is done by her. So you guys think that you might be supporting me? You are, and the reality is we've set a fund up for my daughter and the proceeds for the t-shirts go to her college fund. She gets a portion. <laughs> like, yep. like 10 cents. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, KK, are you reading? So, someone said I was amazing. <laughs> oh, jeez. I just can't what? argue with that. that. I mean, I can definitely argue that is with that. That's <laughs> the one comment. With her. That's the one comment that like, she chose to I'm read. <laughs> yeah, Kaylee. I'm waiting. Please. Someone said they were going to be on here till 7 p.m. with us. Me too. Um, I use Procreate to do it on my iPad. She uses Procreate on an iPad. And Canva. Yep. Yeah. And there's a program called Canva. C A N V A. Keep it still, honey. Yeah. Well, you got to hold it still. We uh. I we actually. I need a picture when she is done. What? Huh? He said he wants a picture. A, a picture. Pic yeah. She's actually making it right now. She's working um, on it. So. Okay, so the person asked for a picture. So you see this design right here that's got the states? We thought about doing something similar and maybe putting the cities of the states that are listed. So Knoxville, where's my states? Um, Bur uh, Birmingham, uh, Atlanta, I don't know the capitals. <laughs> Raleigh. <laughs> Those probably aren't the capitals. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? 
<laughs> and then we thought about doing a, a, a cow version and doing like smash burger, tacos, fajitas, fajitas, breakfast, because it goes where the bacon's at and stuff like that. What do you think about that? Are you holding the camera still? Someone told me that my thumb was in the video, so I had to fix it. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, I've had a break now. It's <laughs> Wow, action like camera holder, give your mom some tips. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're saying you're doing a good job, Kaylee. I know. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? Um, someone asked for our names. That, behind the, behind the camera, holding the camera is Kaylee, and then our youngest is Kenzie. So, Kaylee is 12 and Kenzie is 10. Knuckleheads. One he, and two. Actually, asked, two and three, because so, that's knucklehead number one. Someone <laughs> asked for a cow shirt. We're making it. Yeah. We're, we're going to do it. We're make, she's going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> see? Now you see what I'm talking about when people ask for the shirts. You're like, nobody wants it. <laughs> okay. Let me go back to the camera, KK. Thank you. <laughs> Don't put your thumb in the video. <laughs> <laughs> all righty how many people we got we got 248 so they're dropping like flies yeah. probably because kaylee's incredible filming I'm hey pick that plastic bag up so we don't litter i'm about to drop like flies should we uh should we sign off honey probably so mike says nice to meet y'all nice to meet you too thanks for being here um vana says can you do fish yeah like any spe we do have a a hash brown crusted oh. fish oh i do <laughs> someone says mom has her thumb there now <laughs> i do Hang oh on. gee <laughs> okay there we go uh we have a hash okay. brown crusted walla and if you research and go way back in the archive it might be hard to watch but the food is really good we did a taco seasoning blackened fish taco with like slaw on it, and I'm gonna actually recreate it on this because it was so phenomenal. I think it need, I think it serves justice for a good fish taco. <laughs> yep. Scott says, "Great live stream. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Scott. Okay. Thank you. Awesome family. Thank you, Ka. Thank you. <laughs> I don't get any credit for that. Trust me. You can ask my wife all the time. I didn't do anything." <laughs> Y'all rock. Thank you, Larry. Thank you for being here. Great job, guys. Thanks, Andrew. Kelly says she loves black and anything. Yes. <laughs> Brian and Kim says you all deserve a drink. I'll have another one later. <laughs> Austin says I'm happy that your kids have you as an example in their life. Amen to that. Amen yep. to that. Um, Preston says where do you get your olive oil bottles? Um, we have a link in the description. Um, this is OXO. Yeah, this one is an OXO, OXO. Uh, the two original bottles that we used to begin with actually came with my Camp Chef. And then when Pit Boss sent me the griddle, they sent me Pit Boss label or logoed uh, squirt bottles. Yeah, but pretty much really, um, honestly, any, any squirt bottle will, will work good. They're pretty much all the same, really. And then since my wife made this sticker. I made the little label for him. Yep. Yep. All right, is it about time for your bedtime, honey? What time is it? I don't even know. Uh, Richard says he did not like the Blackstone Twist Top bottles. David says, really? thank you all. You all have taught me a lot. Uh, great job, totally enjoyed this. Um, thanks. Thanks guys, thank you guys. Thanks Brian. He says, thanks for being a great influence to us all. David says, great live stream, thank you guys. Hey, Aunt Caroline. Say hi to Hold up the rear. Holding up the rear like all way. Hey, guys! <laughs> Here comes Aunt Caroline! That's Neil's Aunt Caroline. Oh. It's 22.49 in Europe. 11. Sean says, looking forward to 10, the next live. 10, James 10, says, 49. so helpful. I think people are starting to sign off. That's fine. I'm going to stay here until they <laughs> sign off. says, bye. Angie says, hey, from Jacksonville. <laughs> adios. Adios, hard docs. Thanks Her for being here. Her parents are in Jacksonville. Yes, my parents are That's in where, Jacksonville yep. right now. Yep. Yep. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, Mike. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Mike. Fist. <laughs> From Dela Cruz. Yes, Mark, you did just miss it, but it should be um, up on our uh, like playlist, like in our videos. You can catch the recap. Um, y'all are awesome. Thanks, Vana. <laughs>
Let's see. Joplin, Missouri. Brian's in Joplin, Missouri. He says 15.30 here. That's a different time zone than us. A central? I, is it? I don't know. What time is it, KK? A central. Awesome job. Thanks, Chris. Here till the end, Brian and Kim, ride or die. <laughs> <laughs> Are they a part of our Facebook group? I don't um, remember the name. CPP Tech says there's a link in the Griddle group for a good uh, camera or something. We'll have to check that out. Can't wait for the cooking training, says Brian. Brian is a member of the Flat Top family. So, yeah, that might be definitely something that we start for the members. So it's more like one-on-one. -on -one. Yep. Yep. Uh, someone says, come trout fish with me in North Arkansas. Absolutely. I trout fish up all, I trout fish over here all the time. Yep, that was Larry. He said he lives on, it, oh, it went off too fast. Uh, White River, Bull Shoals Lake, maybe. Okay. That's from, that's from memory, so I don't know if that's correct. Yep, we've got a good trout fishery up here. They stock consistently. <laughs> K.A. says, I'm still here all nighter. Let's make some jalapeno <laughs> bacon wraps. <laughs> Ooh, look, take a big juicy onion, right? And then wrap it in bacon, right? And then season it. And then put a, a burger in there. And then cook the whole thing at once. Yes. Oh, and so um, we have got an awesome, not to give it away, but we're going to do an awesome surprise hot dog coming up soon. Yep. <laughs> Bang. I have a matter of fact, we're going to have to make it this week because 4th of July is Monday. Yep. Whew. Oh, man. Tough it out, honey. It's There's, hot. I mean, <laughs> you're under a... You I, You can tell who works for a living. <laughs> I mean, I've been holding I would like this temperature now. every single day. Almost two hours. This is like the ultimate arm workout here. Well, good. That way you'll sleep good tonight. <laughs> Yeah, what, what, are else? Make, what are you making me for dinner? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Kelly says I love Monday holidays. Yep. <laughs> I bet you do. Neil, Neil still has to work on all the holidays. You name a holiday, and I work twice as hard. That's the bad thing about the job. I mean, it's rewarding. But you work every single holiday. Thanksgiving, <laughs> Christmas, New Year's, Father's Day, Mother's Day, all the bun holidays, Labor Day, Fourth of July, Memorial Day. Dang, we work. Yep. If there's a bun on the shelf during the busy season, just know that your bread men have worked their A off to put it there. I can tell you that. <laughs> Someone says, you guys have an awesome family and awesome YouTube channel. Thanks for what you do. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank it's because of you guys. Because it's the feedback. It's the rush. Yeah. It is so nice just being able to interact with you guys. We have such a positive community of people. Sean says, you can hit the two-hour mark. I, I'm i surprised How far we is still that? have 219 people with us at two hours. Loyal. Loyal. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kelly says that she worked every holiday for years at the Waffle Houses in Knoxville. <laughs> wow, Kelly. So, uh, so, is it Sonia or Sonia? She says, congratulations on your first live feed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I got to be honest. I was super nervous. <laughs> I was too. I really was. I, was, I mean, it's like anxiety. I don't think I was nervous because it's just a burger, but I was just hoping everything. We were expecting thunderstorms. We didn't get them. We just changed our internet package because we were worried we weren't going to have enough internet to go live. We did. We just upgraded our internet. We for bought you guys three yesterday. different mi three different microphones. We tested them all out on fake lives, and this one seemed to work out, hopefully, better than all of them. I know nobody said that they couldn't hear us. Well, so good. That is very good. Mission accomplished, babe. There you go. Good job, honey. <laughs> and to top it off, I still swear today that is the best burger I've ever had. If I had a food truck, a restaurant, or any type of menu or influence over any restaurant that served a burger and was looking for an idea, I swear to you, that would be on the list. That The Borzen one is good. We will With the hot pepper jelly? You know what? We, we should add that to our list of videos to make this week. That's fun. That, that was a super good That's fun. burger. I would eat it again, for sure. God, it was so good. And we already got the ingredients. Yep. Whew. What else? There's some hardcore people out there just, just, I bet they're not even watching. I bet they're on live and they're like living up their lives on the couch with the feet up, watching a game on the side and be like, I'm going to be the last one here. I uh, know it. Let's see. CPP Tech says he can help with the tech stuff for us. I'm Ryan Patton on the group. So I guess on the Griddle group, Ryan Patton. We'll have to okay. Ma make sure, Rich, you, make sure you let us know Richard that. Richard says unzipped fly for the blooper video. LOL priceless. <laughs> Is your fly zipped? 
No? You don't have a flag. I think he's talking about one of your oh, oh. videos. <laughs> we, did, we do one of the videos. I don't even remember. Neil had his fly down. and <laughs> It gets hot out here, man. You gotta let the thing breathe. Oh, jeez, honey. <laughs> Kinsey said, oh my gosh, Dad. <laughs> oh, okay, we're at 208. That's probably good, don't you think? <laughs> What time? What time are we? Are we doing the two hour? One hundred and fifteen minutes. K A says watching full attention. <laughs> <laughs> My arm. I got to be honest, guys. I've held this camera for one hundred and fifteen minutes. <laughs> so maybe next time, maybe we do get a good trip. We've okay. got a tripod. Jeff. Jeff says, "What is your day job?" So just let him know again. I wake up about two thirty in the morning, and I go to the warehouse to get bread and I deliver bread for grocery stores or restaurants, depending on which one they are. But. Uh, basically just restaurants. I, I'm a bread delivery guy, put it in a nutshell. Yep, so that... Um, is why I'm able to film lunchtime a lot of times because we wake up so early that sometimes we get off early, like 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock during the afternoon. But we remember, we've been up since 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning, so people are like, man, you're lucky you get home so early. I'm like, man, you wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, look, you guys know that I've always been honest. I swear about this stuff. This stuff is like, once it goes out, I'm buying it for myself. <laughs> Richard says, I think it was Richard says, okay, I got to go. My fingers are getting tired from hovering over the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Brian says, just came in and taking, taking a break from mowing pastures. Where at? Where, Brian? Tom. Tom says, convince me in your own way why I should buy a flat top. I currently use a propane Weber grill. Oh, jeez. No, there's no... I mean, if you had a charcoal grill, it'd be one thing, because you can... The flat, the flat top, honestly, you need to uh, hop over to Facebook and join our Facebook group called The Griddle Group. The flat top really is so much fun. It's so... It's really pretty easy to use and a ton of people in the Facebook group even make the comment like that they never even cook inside in their kitchen anymore um, so it, it the flat top is ad addicting it is that so the gas grill although you could put a griddle top on it which is completely up to you believe it or not it's kind of limited right you're really if you really enjoy food, the gas grill itself limits you in so many ways, right? Once you get a charcoal style grill or a wood style smoker or a pellet grill, now you're able to incorporate smoking, grilling, baking, searing, and all the above. That's what a flat top in my mind does. Although you can't smoke, you can bake, you can sear, you can saute, you can deep fry if you needed to. Um, the options I think are more abundance culinary wise than you would find on a flat top grill on, on a uh, on a gas grill brian and kim say your griddle group is awesome great recipes great community thank you yep it is it is we a try it's because people like you that post your pictures that comment they give <laughs> good comments versus the naysayers out there yep yes and it is way less dishes to wash it, it keeps the kitchen clean a lot of people comment that that having a griddle, it does keep your kitchen clean. Especially in the summer when you're going, like uh, if you could eliminate going in inside of your house a lot, uh, every time you turn on your stove in your kitchen, you're heating the kitchen up. Every time you turn on the oven, you know, so on and so forth, you're adding heat to the house. So many people in the summer struggle keeping their temperature down their house because one of cost and two, it's hard on the air conditioners. This does it all for you. It is really fun. I mean, everything from breakfast, right? You wanna make eggs, pancakes, sausage, bacon, French toast, crepes, right? For lunch, any type of lunch menu, uh, country fried steak, uh, I know it could be a dinner, but country fried steak, um, uh, burgers, hot dogs, uh, come on, all your sauteed, any vegetable Quesadilla, you can name of. fajita, fried rice, exactly. chicken teriyaki. And then dinner, you can make whatever you want to. It's just, it's, it's unlimited. There are limits, like you couldn't do a brisket on it, but you probably can't do a brisket on your gas grill either. Tom says he just joined the Facebook group. He'll see what is happening in there. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. We got 60 seconds. We're signing off. It's 4.59. We started at 3. It's 5 o'clock. Here we go. <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We cannot wait for the next one. I've already got things going in my mind that I'm like super, super, super stoked about. Maybe next time we might even...
do easier or harder, who knows. But if you're part of our join program, they will decide what we do, or the griddle groups. We're going to put polls out. Whatever you guys, whatever you guys decide, we'll do. Thank you to each and every one of you. We really appreciate it. From my kids and my wife to me. Yes, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, all right, and that's it. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> all right, kids, let's bring stuff in.